Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining me for another great video here on Chuckwagon MTG. Today we're cracking open a box of Commander Legends. Um, I know I'm late to the party with this, but like I said, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to make videos as I find time, and uh, time is very hard to come by nowadays. But today, well, let's just dive right into this, we'll switch the camera over, open up this box and see what kind of good stuff we can't get. And, um, oh, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the last video or not, but we are going to start doing the, uh, the comments again, where if every time you comment, you get entered in to open a pack. Um, we're going to start doing that. I'm not sure if it's going to be for our next video or maybe the video after that, but we are getting back to that. Uh, we're also going to do something with sharing. Um, not entirely, entirely sure how we're going to do that, but, um, you know, for everyone that shares the video link or something, that, get you in for another pack or I don't know we'll figure something out <clears throat> but all right let's go ahead and dive right into these packs because I'm itching to know what's inside of them uh, I've actually I've had this box here since the day the set released and so if that tells you how long they've been sitting and they have been just been begging me to open them weird like that all right we got explosion of riches we got a sandstone oracle we got a cast down, and then we got a sweet gum recluse, followed by another rare, uh, Amareth the Lustrous, and then, all right, three rares. We got Belbe, Belby, uh, Corrupted Overseer, and a Foil Thinned Horned Elves. Hey, hey, good stuff there. All right. Getting right into it. We got a Daring Sebateur. We got a Faithless Fetters. Get back in screen, Chuck. We got a, hey, a Three Visits. Nice. And then we got a Soul of Eternity, followed by a Halana Kessig Ranger. And then another rare, uh, oh, sweet. Um, Nastro, Voice of the Crags. I think that's how it's pronounced. I could be wrong. Then we got a Foil, uh, what is it? Is your Wardwing Familiar? Good stuff, good stuff. So how have y'all been? I'm, I'm genuinely curious to know, with the way things have been going, we've got, um, oh, I mean 2020, right? 2020 was a thing. We got a Penion Blades, we got a Patron of the Valiant, we got a hung, hungers in, hungers, Hunter's Insight, and then we got a Root Weaver Druid, followed by a Togo Goblin Weaponsmith, and a Tuya Bear Claw, and a Foil Ancestral Blade. No idea where the prices are on this stuff. Um, I quickly glanced uh, before I sat down to do this video, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay. We got a Vow of Lightning. We got a Thirst for Knowledge, a Meteor Golem, and then we got a Wheel of Misfortune. That's fun stuff right there. We then got an Alina Kessig Trapper, a Slurk All Ingesting, and then we got a Foil Gen Arcane Weaver. Foil Rare. We'll put that in a separate foil pile. No idea where that price is, but it's still it's a good looking foil. I have yet to see at least in my opinion, a real bad foil out of this set. Um, they've got some beautiful artwork in it. All right, we got ourselves a Fencing Ace. We got a Revenant. We got a Thought Vessel. And then we got an Amphibian Mutineer, followed by a Keleth Sunmane Familiar, and a, ooh, Kamal, Heart of Krosa, our first mythic of the box with a foil, Corpse Churn. Okay, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. That's not a very good foil. Sorry, Wizards. I thought you were batting a thousand. But still, you're batting pretty good. You've got some gorgeous foils in this set. There we go. Alright, we got a Null Caller. We got a Lightning Rig Crew. We got an Imperious Perfect. And then we got a Triumphant Reckoning. Okay. Not the Mythic we wanted, but not bad. We got a Ray of Master Smith. 
and oh, I'm knocking cards over. We got an Ezior or Essior Ward Ring Familiar, and then a Foil Lumen Grid Gargoyle. But so yeah, how y'all doing? I got I sidetracked myself. How's everyone faring through all this? Is your year getting better? Things are looking up, or are they not looking up? You know, how 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 goes it? We got a Supreme Will, we got a Pride of the Perfect, we got a Grafted War Gear, and then we got a Court of Bounty. Okay, that's not too bad, I don't think. We got a Numa Jorga Chieftain, we got a Mira Thorn of the Glade, and then we got an etched um, Emoti Celebrant of Bounty. Okay, we're going to put that in with the rare foils just because that's an etched. It's, it's more than your average foil. Which, which kind of disappoints me that, and I'm not saying the etch is cool, I, I think we're getting too much bling in magic. Um, and I could be alone on this thought. Uh, I probably am. But, oh, it is what it is, as I'm throwing cards everywhere. All right, we got an Orsov Advocus. We got a Vow of Wilderness. Sting Fling, Stinger Fling Spider. And then we got a Slash the Ranks. Followed by a jury, Master of the Revu, and then Review, Revu. We got a Bell Borka, Spectral Sergeant, and then a Foil Wild Heart Invoker. All right, we got a Fathom Fleet Sword back. We got a Confiscate. Oh, the witches! That's the second one we pulled. And then we got a Blasphemous Act. That's not a bad card. I don't think it's up there money-wise, but that's still a good card. I like it. We got a Casket Flesh Sculptor, Ghost of Ramirez de Petro, and then we got a Foil Eye Blight Massacre. Moving on, there we go. We got a Vow of Flight. We got a Return to Dust, Dreamstone Hedron, and then a Nightshade Harvester, followed by a Kedis Embercloth Familiar, and an Obeka Brute Chronologica, Chronologicist. Chronologist. Whew. And then we got, oh, we got a oh, rare etched. We got Keywain Lieutenant or Initiant Meddler. There we go. Another etched. That's kind of fun. Okay, what do we got? We got a Vow of Torment. We had an Armorcraft Judge. We got a Nadir's Nightblade, followed by a Jessica's Will. Okay, that's a, that's a decent one. Card. We had a Rebecca Architect of Ascension. We got a Ictex Savage Splicer and then a Foil Souls Fire. I say for a little bit, I was starting to think that I don't know if this box is going to pull up out of the nosedive. Well, no, I wouldn't say nosedive, but um, it's definitely not great. All right, we got a Furnace Celebration. We got a Ward of the Evos Isle. We got a Sunset Pyramid and we got a Rejuvenating Springs. Okay. Got a land. I know those are still up there a little bit. We got a Dargo, sh the Shipwrecked. We got Siani, Eye of the Storm, and a Foil, Molder Beast with, what is that? I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's not a ding in the card that's in the print, so that's interesting. I don't think it's quite enough to be considered a, a valuable misprint, but uh, it is something. Everything something. All right, we got a first response. We got a strength of the pack, frenzied saddle brute, and then we got a plague reaver, followed by abomination of Lanoir, and an elegith Ele Ele crossroad auger, and then we got a foil faith's fetters. Wrong pile. There we go. We got an Angelic Armament, a Volcanic Dragon, love that art, a Shimmermer, 
And then we got a Port Razor, third mythic of the box, followed by a Prava of the Steel Legion, and Armix Filigree Thrasher, and a Foil Workshop Assistant. Siren Storm Tamer. We got a Noxious Dragon. Sifter Worm, and then a War Room. Okay, we'll take that. Another decent land. We got a Malcolm Keen-Eyed Navigator. We got a Nadir, Agent of the Dusk Knell. And then a Foil Flesh Bag Marauder. That's kind of nice. I like that. I like the, the downshift. Wait a second, that, that is a downshift, isn't it? Fleshbag Marauder? I'm almost positive that's a downshift. I could be wrong. I've been out of the loop for a little bit. All right, we got a Vow of Duty. We've got an Ingenuity Engine. We got a Merchant Raiders. And then we got a Horizon Stone. We got Thalassi Reverend Medium. We got a Zara Renegade Recruiter. And then a Foil Sailor of Means. All right, come on, box. Let's turn this around. Do something good here. All right, we got a humble deflector. Defector, not deflector. Hero's Blade, Feast of Succession, and then we got a Court of Ambition, a Nimrus, Ona's Trickster, and then a uh, Quain in. Initiant itinerant meddler. I don't even know what I'm doing, folks. I'm sorry. We had a foil gale strike. Mispronouncing stuff left and right. For anyone still watching, I appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, we got interpret the signs. We got intangible virtue. Got an arcane signet, followed by a corsive recruiter. We got a Brennalyn the Moon Kraken, Singer Dark Baron, and then a Foil Phyrexian Rager. Not too shabby. Still no real Holy Cat moments in this box. I'm, I'm hoping we hit at least one. All right, we got a Codex Shredder. We got an Ordeal of Nila. We got a Volcanic Torrent, and then an Acroma's Will, followed by a Rogra, Rogak, Son of Rogra, uh, Gil, Galanra, Caller of Wirewood, and then a Foil coast, Coastline Marauders. Got a peek at our foil. We got a Meteoric ma Mace, there we go, derp. Uh, we got Skilled Animator, Demonic Lore, and then a Magus of the Order, followed by Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty, and then Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist, and an Azura Fleet Admiral as our foil. Well, I'll tell you what, these next four packs need to be something magical to make this a... Uh, a decent uh, decent box but that's okay if we don't open great that's fine I do this for the love of opening packs uh, open the armory we got monstrous onslaught slaughter of the strong and then we got a Rashka no Rakshasa debaser Glacian power stone engineer and then a Gorl Muldrak uh, Amphibonologist, there we go, and then a Jalum Tome is our foil. Alright, last couple packs. We got a Mindless Automaton, we got a Burning Anger, we got a Guildless Commons, and then we got a Wrong Turn, followed by a Kanji Sky Warden. Uh, Faceless Falthus Shadow Cat Familiar, and then a foil Dragon Mantle. All 
All right, last two. We got Scholar of Ages. We got Victimize. We got Lore Seeker Stone. We got a scroll rack. Okay, thank you, Jeebus, for turning this around. I was getting very worried there. Good stuff. Okay, we got Ormai of the Dead Tide and Anara Wolvid Familiar with a Foil Seraph of Dawn. Last pack. Can we top that last pack? All right, what do we got? We got a Kangri's Lieutenant. We got a Gollum Artisan. We got a Scaled Behemoth. And then Promise of Tomorrow. Followed by a Radiant Sarah Archangel. And then, oh, we got a Han Hans Erickson. All right. And then we got a Foil Angelic Armament. All right, well, I don't think we did too bad. I don't think we're really up there on price. I really don't. But... We did get this guy in etched. Or actually, we got two etched. Uh, we got him and her both etched. And then we did get a foil gen. And then... I just don't know about the rest of this. Um, I, I'm not sure where prices are at. Which, I mean... As you all know, I go through and I price everything. So you guys know where we're at. But uh, I have no idea. Uh, War Room... Okay, we're donating springs. Jessica's will is good. Blasphemous, blasphemous act. Um, in fact, I'm gonna real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna ch cheat here. Uh, and see what blasphemous act is at. It's probably okay. Yeah, it's it's virtually nothing, but it's still a good card. I don't care what anyone says. Court of Bounty, eh. Wheel of Misfortune. So, yeah. And then we only got four Mythics for the box, but that's all right because one of them was Scroll Rack. Oh, back in center. We got a Port Razor. We had a Triumph Reckoning, or Triumphant Reckoning, and then Kamal Heart of Krosa. Um, so, I don't think we did too shabby. Um, if we made it, we just barely made it. Though. That, that's my prediction. Uh, you all see here. Um, so yeah that's about it i want to thank everyone for joining me here today um yeah just it means a lot that you you watch my videos and uh, share in some of this this joy that i have in opening packs um if you like this video do me a huge favor please click the like button subscribe if you haven't already and then share this with your friends your family your loved ones and your pets everyone could use a little more magic in their lives once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on all the social medias, Chuck Wagon MTG.